Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. This is this is what you want to have in order to practice for the exam. This is it contains seven real exams given by the same people who will give you the exam that you will about to take. That you are about to take. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 123. This is a tag GRE-10E for the 10th edition of the book. Page 123. QC stands for quantitative comparison, because those are the questions I'm doing right now. Down the road, when I do multiple choice questions, this will sort of QC, it will say MC for multiple choice questions, but that will come later. Uh, QC number seven. Let's take a look. It's important that you have the book in front of you, otherwise you will not follow the work, because I do not have a luxury of writing the whole questions on the blackboard. I'm going to read it to you, turn to page number 123 and read it with me. It says, for each home in town X, the amount of property tax P, amount of property tax is P percent of the value of the home. Alright, so in a given home, in a given town, the amount of property tax that they collect is certain percentage of the value of the home. Oh, this is a startling concept, mind-boggling. Let's carry on then. The property tax, property tax on a home whose value is 45,000 is 1,200. There you go, now we're getting a nitty gritty. So tax, tax on 45,000, we are told is 1,200. There you go, now we're getting it on nitty gritty. The question simply is which quantity is bigger? The tax on 54,000, tax on the property value of 54,000 or 1,300. That's what we're asked to compare. Let's see what we can do. Again, you must always keep in mind that this is these are called quantitative comparison, not computation. As I keep repeating myself like a parrot, people have a tendency of forgetting this thing. They turn the bloody thing into computation and they can sit there and compute every little detail and that's where they waste time. Well, I know the tax on 45,000 is 1,200. So let's make this, uh, I'm going to subtract 1,200 from that. So this becomes 100. And which means I, this becomes 9,000. Why does it become 9,000? Because I've just taken out the property tax on the 45,000. I know the property tax on 45,000 is 1,200. So if I subtract 45,000 from 54,000, it becomes 9,000. So now what I'm comparing, now what I'm comparing is not the tax on the, I'm not asking myself what is the tax on 54,000 and how much how much is it big, bigger than or smaller than compared to 1300. What I'm asking is that is the property tax on, on 9,000 more than or less than or equal to 100. Well, let's take a look. Property tax on 9,000. Well, 9,000 is a fifth of 45,000, isn't it? 9,000 is a fifth of of 45,000. As you see, 9 over 45 is a fifth of that, which means whatever this is, we have to figure out the fifth of this amount. So therefore, the tax on this thing, tax on 9,000, I'm going to erase this part now. So therefore, this stands for therefore, for those of you who do not know. Therefore, tax on 9,000 is equal to a fifth a fifth of 1200. Well, how much is a fifth of 1200? Can you tell me? And again, you don't have to sit there and tell me what is the, what is the fifth of 1200. That is not the point here. The point here is that is fifth of 1200 less than or equal to 100? Well, I know a tenth, a tenth of 1200 is how much? Tenth of 1200 is 120. $120, isn't it? Tenth of this hundred is going to be $120. So obviously a fifth is going to be more than 120. It's going to be twice as much as a matter of fact. But the fact that it's going to be twice as much is not the point here. The point is, this quantity is more than 100. The one fifth of 1200 is more than 100. That's it. That's what we are interested in. One fifth of 1200 is more than 100. Therefore, the answer is A. Just give me one second here. I'll be right back. And that's what you have to do. You don't have to figure out every nitty-gritty detail step by step by step. Listen, I hope you found this helpful. 
If you wish to buy the purchase, if you wish to purchase the solution manuals to all the problem in this books, in this book, or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, I am located in the state of Connecticut. I tutor mostly in Connecticut, Manhattan, New Jersey, uh, Massachusetts, New Rhode Island area, and, and so on and so forth. But send me an email in either case if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to purchase a solution manuals. Go to my website at www.prep, P R E P prep, F O R 4 G R E dot com and, and send me an email and we'll talk. But regardless of where you are located, anywhere on the planet, as long as you and I can come to an agreement, I'll be more than happy to come and help you out. Alright, thank you.